Okay, let's talk about art. Sketch and tune, shader, and art. If you go to the texture, sketch and tune, art. Uh, you can give this art sketch and tune shader to the color or to luminance. For better seeing that, first, let's give it to the color. Go into the sketch and tune, art. In the art, first you have to give a texture to that. You can design your texture, you can <coughs> load the image to that, give a color, gradient, or anything that you want. I load an image. I load a simple image, something like that, to see the changes of that. For seeing that, you have to render it. And don't forget to assign the material to the object. And now we have a special uh, kind of the shader with no lighting, with no uh, anything more. You can see the completely nice shading. It looks like the render. For better seeing that, let's something like that. Let's try. <clears throat> uh, let's clear. Let's try um, gradient. The gradient, for example, radial or circular, and then change some color of that. Give some color to better understanding that. <clears throat> now you can see we have an artistic looks of shader nice this is an art shader okay then double click and let's give it green nice with no lighting and reflection you can create something like this with <coughs> artistic shader that's it the gradient you can change that if you have a bump or you can use another texture or other shaders if you have a bump activate a bump to better see that a spacing means word or based on the camera changing the shader is based on the camera or a word of the <clears throat> software or based on the normals of object that is just stay its position it does not change with the camera or the word <clears throat> you can scale the effect in you or you, if you want you can rotate the texture because it's a gradient you cannot see that or you can add a noise to gradient or anything that if you have a texture you can see the rotation a scaling u or a scaling v interesting <clears throat> if you have a shadow you for example like this we have an object and if you have a shadow you can give that artifact to the shadows with the, for example a gradient interesting so this is an art shader